Traditionally, rabbits have been kept in a hutch. They were usually raised to be food and treated as livestock. Occasionally, they were kept as pets, but usually people considered domestic rabbits as belonging in a farm or maybe something like a starter pet. However, in the mid-1980s, people slowly came around to the idea that rabbits are so much more than scared creatures sitting alone in a cage. Given the opportunity, they could become as engaging as a dog or a cat. Many people have gotten creative with their rabbit setups. Some people use play pens inside their home, while others prefer cages, hutches, colonies, or tractors. Let's look into and understand each one. Play pens are usually a foldable fence inside the home. Inside the play pen, it is equipped with a litter box or pee pads, food, and water. It gives the rabbits plenty of room to move around and play. A cage is simply an individual wire cage with hardware cloth and a plastic tray to catch the pee and poop. Because rabbit's urine is so caustic and eats through anything quickly, the trays need to be washed out very well each day. A hutch is an individual cage that sits outside off the ground. This allows all the urine and poop to fall to the ground. The urine soaks into the earth and the poop mounds up and can be shoveled away periodically to gardens or compost piles. A colony is many rabbits cohabitating in a certain area outside. Fencing needs to include underground fencing to keep the rabbits from digging out. Males and females are kept together and the rabbits multiply quickly. Cleaning the area is difficult. A tractor is a movable outdoor cage which allows the rabbit to eat grass and have room to run and play. There are simple tractors, fancy tractors, small tractors, and large tractors. There are even multi-level tractors. On our homestead, we use outdoor tractors for any rabbits used for meat and fur and or any rabbits we sell and we also use cages for our breeding rabbits. Today I would like to take you through the process of building a rabbit tractor. They are easy to build and by using them the rabbits mow our lawn at the same time as reducing feed costs. Here you can see where it sat the previous day and the grass has been eaten. To begin, the correct type of wood needs to be obtained. Cedar wood is great because it naturally repels insects and prevents rotting. Cedar is hard to come by and very expensive. We went with the second best option, which is pressure treated eco-friendly wood. In our location, the two main hardware stores available are Lowe's and Home Depot. Lowe's carries this pressure treated eco-friendly wood, whereas Home Depot carries wood that can be harmful to animals due to the type of chemicals they use to pressure treat the wood. We start with the framing. This will be a two foot by eight foot tractor. Inside will be a two foot by two foot area where the rabbits can go to get away from harsh weather and a place to get away from anything they feel is scary. Once the framing is complete, solid marine water resistant board is cut to size and screwed into place. Two inch by four inch rubber coated fencing is rolled out to accommodate the bottom of the tractor. This allows grass to grow up through the wire holes and keeps the rabbits from digging out under the tractor. Half inch hardware cloth is stapled to the framing. Hinges are placed on the top to allow the top to be opened and a two foot by eight foot piece of metal roofing is adhered to the top, which will keep the rain and harmful sun rays off the rabbits. Handles are placed on both sides. The handles help you pick up the tractor from both sides or to be rolled to a different area. 
wheels are placed on one end along with a way to latch the top. A chain can be placed connecting the framing to the top lid so that when opened, it will stay open without holding it. A blue pellet feeder is attached and a water bottle can also be attached to the outside later on. This was built for rabbits, but we found that it works great for other small animals. Here, we used it temporarily for our ducks. When they first hatched, they were too small to be put in with the larger ducks, so we used a tractor to hold them until they were bigger. Thank you for watching this video. Please continue to help me help you by liking, sharing, and subscribing.